Vanderblue with Leading London, and I'm here with Nikki Coffer, and she's a certified home stager in London, Ontario. And we're going to be asking her a few questions and finding out all about home staging. Can you tell me why homeowners should consider hiring a home stager if they're wanting to sell their property? Staging a house gives it a competitive edge in the neighborhood. It's going to sell faster, usually for more money, and uh, it's going to show better in its photos and marketing material, which helps out, you know, buyers that come in are going to bring in better offers because they already know what they're looking for when they, they've seen it on MLS. Now, when you hear about home staging, you always hear about depersonalization. And how is that achieved and why is that important? You want a buyer to walk through the house and see themselves in their house, in, in that property. Absolutely. Um, if they walk in and they see pictures of you and it's like they're in someone else's house, they're not comfort, yeah. comfortable. And you want to get that comfort level so that they want to spend more time in your home and buy it, ideally. Can you tell us what some of your, uh, the tips that you can share with our viewers when it comes to home staging? One of the main tips is painting a nice neutral tone throughout um, and using a 60-30-10 rule. So 60% is your neutral tone, your walls, floors, that sort of thing. Uh, and then your 30% is going to be your furnishings, uh, wood tones that uh, flow together. And then your 10% will be your accent color. Nikki, can you tell us some of the secrets of the trade that you're willing to share with our viewers? All right, so one of the things that we use all the time is the three, five, seven rule. Okay. So whether you're putting candlesticks together or um, accessories of any sort, books, that sort of thing, you want them in, in three, five, or seven. Another huge tip is cleaning. House needs to be white glove clean. Now, we're really lucky because we're going to put some of these tips to the test and we're going to do it before and after. All right, here's our before room. And can you point out some of the things that are wrong in this room? I think one of the big key things is that just because the furniture comes as a full set doesn't mean that we have yeah. to use all of it in one room. Yeah, let's get busy. Yes. All right, and here's our after. You've done a great job, Nikki. Okay, so we started off by moving the furniture and removing one of the nightstands to add some space. Mm -hmm. We added over here a our 357 rule. Over here we changed out a personal photo and opened up the blinds to show a much nicer, bigger window. 